Yeah, I see you on social media, and I see you talking to people about the need for social media and the power of social media. Something like Twitter, for instance. What do you tell a teacher or an educator about Twitter that makes it something that they should try? Well, what I like to tell teachers is Twitter is the new way for them to get out there and connect with other connected educators that are specifically looking for ways to engage their students in the classroom. One of the most effective ways that teachers can really narrow down on their subject is to actually use hashtags. The power of the hashtags is almost unlimited. I cannot stress that enough because by using hashtags, you can actually narrow down the feed, reduce the noise. A lot of people talk about, well, you know, I don't want to use Twitter because it's too much on my feed. I don't know how to handle it. When in reality, all they got to do is learn how to use hashtags and start creating some lists. When you create lists, you can make those lists private, you can make those lists public, and that allows you to actually narrow down what you're actually trying to get your audience to learn about. So hashtags is a way to parse all the noise and get down to what you really want to get down to. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Say to a teacher who's just getting started, what's the easiest way for them not to get overwhelmed? Well, the easiest way for a teacher not to get overwhelmed with Twitter is for them to start small. You cannot jump in of the deep end of a pool and think that you're going to learn everything there is to learn about Twitter in one day. So I will say start out with a class Twitter account that allows you to manage the feed for what your students in your subject for your class need. To actually connect with your students and actually model some of the behaviors that you need to actually teach your students about how to be a good citizen in the real world. This would allow them to actually see how hashtags are used effectively in and outside of the classroom. And also, it will demonstrate to them that you can use social media for good. Mm -hmm. And that not everything that they have to post on their feeds is about their life, it's good, uh, you know, this kid did this to me or whatever. Mm -hmm. They can actually have a meaningful conversation that later on, when they're in their 20s, 30s, they can look back and they can say, wow, look what I was saying when I was that age. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's part of their digital legacy. Exactly. It's part of their digital legacy. Thank you yeah, so absolutely. much. Thank you. Oh, thank As you. Always. Awesome. I always I always enjoy talking to you. I learned a lot too. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs>